Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be an update on the power usage and profitability of the L3, the S9, and the, I'll do the A3, and even the um, A4 Plus. In my previous video, I had a um, profitability chart and I had the wrong wattage. So I wanted to do an actual test. As you can see here on the screen, I have a electrical line meter and it has zero watts right now. So what I'm going to do is go turn on the machines and we're going to see how many watts it's actually using in real time. So this is an update to the previous video to get you some actual numbers based on a 220 volt line. So let's get into it. The eight watts you see there right now is from the modem and this electrical meter. So the modem is pulling about eight watts. Okay, this is the S9 hooked up. And the S9 from what it's showing is pulling about 700 watts per line. The one on the left, L1 is line one, L2 is line two. And then I put the total watts over on the right. So it looks like the S9 is pulling currently 1400 watts. So there it is. I'm gonna go turn the S9 off now and I'm going to hook up the L3. And we're gonna see what that's pulling. I also have the two L3s running off one APW++ when they used to allow those two machines be powered by one power supply. So I'm gonna run that with running two L3s to see what, how many watts that pulls. And then I'm gonna to have to hook up the APW++ and hook it to the L3 and see what it's pulling by itself. So I'm gonna go turn the S9 off and hook up another machine and I'll be back. Okay, this these readings are for the A3. Um, it looks like it's about the same. So the A3 is 700 on line one, 720 on line two, or 714 on line one, 720 on line two. I didn't expect the A3 to be 1400 watts, but this is what it's showing. I'm gonna go shut the A3 off. Okay, this is the L3. So this looks about right according to what people have been saying. It looks like the A3 and the S9 pull about twice as much power as the L3. So one L3 is currently pulling about 774 watts. Yeah, so you can see line one, line two, they split the power between the two. It looks like it's working properly based on what people have been saying. So L3, 774 watts. And you can use that to input into the profitability calculator to see exactly where you're where you're at. So I'll pull it up right here so you can see that. So 512 power consumption, we're going to say 744. Pool fee 5%, I'm going to leave that. You can change that if yours is different. But currently it's around 276 per day after electricity cost and pool fee. So that is better than what I previously said about, I was putting in 1600 watts, which actually doubled the cost. So when you lower that down to the actual power consumption, it is better profitability. So it's still around two $2.76 per day average. So, okay, I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna turn on the L3, That's B, two L3s that's powered by one AP3W, and I'm gonna see if it's more efficient. So I'm gonna power this off and I'll be back. Okay, this is two L3s connected to the APW++ that can power two L3s. And as you can see, it's about 1600 watts total. I thought it'd be a little better, but it's maxing out the power supply actually, so. It's kind of equal. It's about 700 each, 7 to 800 each. Now I'm going to hook up. What other one do I have out there? A4 Plus from InnoSilicon. So I'm going to go plug that one in and see how much wattage that uses. Okay, this is the InnoSilicon A4 Plus. Looks like it's, this runs a little bit faster than the L3 Plus from Bitmain. This machine runs at 620 mega hash per second and it's a little more efficient. So it runs a little faster and the power usage is a little less. This is using 754 watts total, which will increase the profitability. So if you put this in the profitability, let's see, watts, 770. That's gonna generate 360 per day. So almost a dollar more per day for that machine. So there it is. Those are the updated numbers, the updated watch, real-time monitoring, so we know exactly how many watts it was using. 
hopefully this will help you and fix the last video where they had a little bit more power calculated which would lower the revenue the profitability so this one should be pretty exact you could use to measure your profitability of course it's going to depend on your if you're using 110 volts it's going to be different if your electricity fee is different if your pool fee is different it's going to change so make sure you calculate those in the calculator but the actual wattage wattage used on a 220 volt should be accurate but yeah if you have a 110 volt line um, it, post in the comments of what you're how many watts you're using so we can compare that would be useful information okay so we're gonna do a little recap so the s9 is using 1456 watts currently and if you put that in the calculator it's going to have a profitability of about four dollars and 22 cents a day so it's not too bad the price of bitcoin is going up which is helping it let's see what it is today Ooh, 76 let's hope it keeps going up which is good so currently four dollars and 20 cents a day for the s9 so let's look at the let's see what's next a3 A3 is also running about the same as the S9. So the A3 currently generates around 600 SIA coins per day. It's averaging around $5 per day based on the price of SIA coin right now. And yeah, that, it's actually more profitable than the Bitcoin and Litecoin currently. So yeah, that is the A3 miner. The L3. Let's look at the L3. Currently, the L3 is running at 774 watts. If we put that into the calculator, let's see, 512, 774. That's going to generate around $2.71 a day for the L3 plus from Bitmain. Now, let's look at the you know, silicon, the A4. A4 is running about the same 754 watts, but it's running a little faster than the Bitmain. So that's going to generate around $3.63 per day. And there you have it. Um, hopefully this helped you. Um, if you have any questions, post in the comments. If you have any suggestions, post in the comments and post your info in the comments also so we can compare the profitability. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.